So, Batman, I felt that this was the perfect way to portray the uh, Batman in the Tim Burton style. And this was the first time we'd really seen it come to this sort of level of darkness before. And, of course, we expected that from Tim Burton. I am inevitable. As it was all going to be dark and dulging, which really helped the future Batman movies, in my opinion, as this really acted as a similar sort of inspiration for like the Dark Knight franchise, I feel. And on, on this version of Batman, I feel, although it's quite long, I feel that it, it has as much detail as it can put in there. And Michael Keaton's Batman was phenomenally good, as well as matching up with the Joker, which was uh, Jack Nicholson's Joker, in which to me are two iconic versions of that character and are up there with the best versions of those characters. I think with Jack Nicholson's Joker, I feel he brings a weird sort of vibe. When he, when he first starts, he's, he feels like he's part of like a mafia group and he's just sort of like somebody who's doing the dirty work, somebody who's a trustable member in the mafia. However, he gets turned on and then falls in a vat of acid when trying to escape the mess that they'd tried to put him in. And I feel it all just made sense. And then he became quite dark, but funny at the same time. And so he had like a dark humour about him and that's what the Joker for me symbolises a clownish, silly, dark humoured character persona. I feel that worked in this in this case and the Joker now of Jack Nicholson's Joker is just iconic. I just want to say guys before we get into the rest of the video thanks for the support and the continued support but anybody that has not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as we want to get more content out for you guys. And the only way we can do that is with your support and you can do that right now by supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. Let's get back to the video. I feel the, the Batman uh, backstory was pretty good as well. If you haven't read the comics like me, uh, and this is really the first time we really get to see his backstory. And I feel the his parents getting killed outside the cinema was really, really good and explored upon. Now it has been expanded on in loads and loads of movies uh, in the in the recent years and to me i feel that this was one of the better versions of that because it turns out it's actually the joker before he became the joker that murdered his parents in which was really good and then when i watched the joker 2019 film it is in the same sort of scenario outside the cinema however it doesn't turn out to be the joker it's one of his like people that look up to him and support him it was a few of those that killed his parents in which is a little bit different but i like this version of the joker being that callous and that disturbed that actually killed his parents working in sort of like a mafia group and that actually worked uh, surprisingly well and i think that he only added fuel to the fire of the potential batman versus joker at the end of the movie having him being the one that murdered his parents and having it being personal for him and i like that i think that was very uniquely special to this movie of it being more of a revenge plot more than anything else. On the ending, I feel the big showdown ending between the Joker and Batman was something that we'd anticipated going all the way through the movie. And although the movie had dragged out to get to this point, it was well worth it as we saw the ultimate showdown between the, the, the biggest hero and one of the biggest supervillains we've ever seen within any superhero movie. Come on, let's get nuts. And I feel that that actually really worked together the Michael Keaton's Batman, Jack Nichols and Joker really fed off of each other and had great chemistry and obviously that big battle ended up leading to Joker's death being that he fell off the tower at the end of the movie in which was quite a great ending for not only the characters but also the movie in general and I feel that you were excited then to watch Batman Returns thinking who is next in terms of the Batman villains which are going to be introduced and obviously it's going to be Penguin but I feel that this was a real good start to the Tim Burton, well, I'd say era, but he only made like two films. But he got two! I felt this was a real good take on of what Batman is and what Batman should be. Are you going to tell all your friends about me? What are you? I'm Batman. So to summarise Batman then, I feel that it worked as an overall great Batman movie. And it might not be the best, but it is definitely in the conversation. Hence why I've rated this movie an 8.2 out of 10 and a classic film. So let me know down in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it terrible? Is it amazing? Let me know down in those comments down below, please. Also, I know that you guys haven't been subscribing, some of you, and I want you to be hitting that subscribe button. So do that now as it will help support the channel in many ways. 
than you would imagine. And also hit that like button as well, hit that notification bell, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Later.